Hey everyone, thanks again for choosing to watch another one of the videos today. Uh, today's will be a quick engine degreasing cleanup. Uh, I do this about once a season and uh, keeps my engine bay nice and clean. Uh, please do consider subscribing if you enjoy these videos uh, so I can keep pumping them out for you and hit that like button also. Uh, so my engine bay is not as bad as some others that I've seen. I always like to start by giving it a quick uh, spray down. I've read some places that you should cover your alternator. However, uh, in this car, the alternator is literally right behind the grill. Uh, it's something that gets wet all the time whenever it rains, so I opted not to do it. So quick rinse down uh, is something I like to do. Uh, and then I follow it up with a product called uh, Chemical Guys All Clean. Uh, it's just a uh, all-purpose cleaner and degreaser. Nothing too crazy. It's not going to you know, eat away at your asphalt or anything like that. Uh, it's a pretty good product to... Uh, to do some light cleaning of the engine bay. Now there's a few methods uh, to doing this. Uh, I've seen people spray it directly onto the engine bay with no uh, water rinse out before. Uh, I'm gonna be just spraying it over the water uh, and I won't let it dwell uh, for too long. Uh, however, uh, you know, to each their own. Um, I've seen people also dilute uh, this particular product but I'm just gonna use it as it is out of the bottle. Uh, so I sprayed pretty liberally around uh, the engine bay. I made sure not to spray directly onto the alternator. That's the one thing I didn't want to actually touch. And then I uh, went and I uh, used one of my uh, detailing uh, brushes uh, to just go ahead and uh, agitate most of the surfaces that I can. Uh, of course, using a bigger brush would probably be a lot more efficient uh, than what I'm doing here. However, I didn't have that uh, handy with me. So use just a small one that I have. Uh, go ahead and agitate all the surfaces that you see uh, where you could find dust and grease maybe uh, build up. Uh, be very careful where all the you know connectors are and, and uh, all the rubber hoses. Just one thing just to be careful around. However, the rest of the car is fair game. I just went ahead and agitated everything that I could. And uh, go ahead and uh, fast forward this for you because it is kind of a time consuming process. Uh, just a quick note, make sure your engine is cool to the touch. I let it sit in the driveway for a couple hours before I touched it, uh, just so that when you spray the uh, all-purpose cleaner or the water directly on, it doesn't evaporate right away. So at this point, I'm nearing the end of the agitation phase, I guess. Uh, I'll be getting ready to actually uh, spray off uh, all the all-purpose cleaner off the car and uh, get ready for the part that's probably the most satisfying out of everything is just to see how clean it got afterwards. Uh, so. It does take a little bit of spraying to get the all-purpose cleaner off, but it doesn't stick too much. Uh, it's pretty easy to spray off. So I just made sure to get all around uh, the car. I made sure to get part of the windshield where maybe there was a little bit of overspray and the front bumper also. I just didn't want it taking away from any of the wax coatings that I have on the car. Uh, so at this point here, I'm just using an, uh, an older uh, microfiber towel. Uh, I'm not going to use a new one wasted on the engine bay, of course, just to pick up any of the uh, excess water, I guess. Just make sure you have to uh, wring out the uh, the actual uh, microfiber every now and then just to get the water out of it. Uh, but yeah, I tried to uh, get in all the nooks and crannies and uh, get most of the visible water that I could see off uh, in preparation for the next product here that you see. It's the uh, Chemical Guy Silk and Shine. Uh, it's like a protectant for vinyl rubber and, and plastic pieces. Uh, so I just sprayed it on all the flat surfaces of the car uh, and uh, just give it a quick wipe down with a new microfiber for this particular moment. It kind of gives a, uh, uh, like a sheen, not a shine. I don't want it to look, have that shiny greasy look, I guess. Uh, just a nice dull matte look is what I was going for here. Kind of like the fresh out of the dealership or out of the factory look. It does work really well. Uh, I try to get it on most of the surfaces that I can and uh, for the parts that are not flat that you'll see in just a moment I just like to spray it directly onto the actual microfiber towel itself and uh, kind of apply it that way but as you can see here it does a really good job of finishing up the look uh, it's a product that's really easy to find uh, I found it on Amazon myself um, but I know uh, some Walmarts and uh, different uh, auto stores I guess uh, will actually carry this product also. So here just going over the parts that I've missed uh, by spraying it directly onto the microfiber and applying it that way. Um, I like the, the look that it gives and it definitely uh, completes the uh, entire process out. 
Another quick note about this uh, product that I like uh, is that it doesn't actually uh, leave like a sticky residue on any of the surfaces like maybe some of the other products that you may get or like the spray on foams. Uh, that's just uh, a really good uh, attribute to this particular uh, spray. Uh, that way dirt and grime doesn't stick to that actual uh, film that it leaves on. So here's an after shot, I guess, uh, of the engine bay. Uh, it looks pretty good in my personal opinion. It passes my personal test. Um, some people might uh, want to, you know, take off the engine uh, bay cover uh, and clean it that way. This is an after or a before shot, that is. Um, you can see it does look pretty dusty. Uh, not too greasy, but uh, this is the after shot here, and uh, it's a night and day difference in my opinion. Yeah, I know the uh, the sun's not hitting it in the same way, but it definitely is a lot less dusty and dirty, uh, and it, it looks perfect in my opinion. Uh, so please do uh, consider subscribing and watching another one of the videos on the channel. Uh, it helps the channel grow a lot, and uh, please leave any suggestions in the comments uh, to any future videos that you may have. Thank you so much for sticking to the end and watching uh, another one of the videos on the channel.